Even pictures of a controlled arc test can make you say, whoa. But when a real arc occurs inside a switchgear enclosure, the effect isn't just startling, it can be devastating. Superheated gases expand with such speed and force that they can quite literally blow your doors off. To contain the damage and minimize the safety hazard to personnel, medium voltage switchgear has long been available in arc resistant designs. But today, more and more operators are looking for that same kind of protection in low voltage gear as well. If you're one of them, Eaton's brand new line of arc resistant low voltage switchgear could be just what you're looking for. And you'll see it here first on Gear TV. Hi, I'm Jill, and I'm at Eaton's Asheville, North Carolina Manufacturing Center with Dan Hernser, the engineering manager for arc-resistant, low-voltage switchgear. Dan, arc flash events are nothing new, but I think it might help us set up the design innovations that Eaton has built into the new switchgear if you give us a quick refresher. I'd be happy to, Jill. And like you said, they're, they're not, nothing new with arc events inside of equipment, but uh, what, we talk, what we've done here with this arc resistant switch gear is to be able to, to contain those, all right? It's an it's amazing amount of energy that's inside that arc, and the arc temperature is approximately five times the temperature of the surface of the sun. And what this does is it starts to vaporize any material that it comes in contact with. Okay, from everything that I've seen here on the design floor, Eaton was not only thinking outside the box, but they were thinking inside the box, on top of the box, behind the box, and pretty much every side of the box. That's exactly right too, Jill. And there's two real important things that we have to look at, and number one is containing that arc explosion. So we have to contain that so the gases don't open, and doesn't blow the doors open and things like that. So we want to contain it, and then we want to channel all that energy, the arc gases, the vaporized material, we want to channel all that out of the equipment mm -hmm. and away from the operator and away from other electrical equipment. So really, we have multiple design features working together as a system. That's exactly right. You know, a, a lot of people talk about when they're, when they're designing something about pushing the envelope. They always say pushing the envelope for product design. But what we've really done here is we design an envelope that actually pushes back. Uh, one of the first ones is the containment. When we talk about containment, we talk about the, the heavier steel doors. Uh, this particular design, we have a, a heavy-duty latch mechanism. You, you see it's a lot thicker material. It latches into the frame of the structure to give it a lot of integrity. Also, we have an increased hinge strength and a built-in flame barrier on this hinge. Where, so when flame barriers hit this door, they can't come around the flame barrier. That flame barrier goes all the way around this particular cell. So around the instrument compartment cells and the breaker compartment cells has that flame barrier in it. We have the, the breaker, the through the door design breaker, so you, the ability to rack the breaker on off. The critical thing you're having the through the door design is the fact that obviously when I have an arcing event going on back there, it can blow out around that breaker and get to the operator in front. So what we have there, to, do, to take care of that issue is we, we use the patented bellows design, all right? So what this patented bellows allows us to do is when it's around the breaker compartment and then you, then you rack the breaker out, the bellows moves with the breaker as it goes in and out. So whether the breaker is fully racked in or fully racked out, I'm safe as an operator standing in front of the piece of equipment. We have a dynamic flap to system because this piece of switch gear requires cooling. So we have a vent ventilation system where the air comes in the bottom, goes up and out the top. But when the arc explosion happens, we want to make sure those vents are, are covered. So we have a dynamic flap that closes up in, in the case of an arc event to keep those arcing gases from going out. Then on the very top, we have the plenum. With the plenum, uh, a customer can take it and talk about all the arc properties earlier and all the arc gases. He can take those and channel those completely out of the building. So with that plenum, you can connect that plenum to a duct system. That duct can run completely out of the building and get all the gases out. Well, Dan, I'm impressed, but I'm not a customer. And I know that Eaton isn't the only manufacturer of arc-resistant low-voltage switchgear. When comparing systems, what gives Eaton an advantage? 
Well, I'm glad you asked because I think number one, probably the most important in my mind, is the rating. That's the overall integrity of the gear. How high of a rating can you go? And we have the highest ratings on the market at 635 volts AC and 85,000 amps. Another thing that we have over our customers is we have an actual Type 2B rating. Now the B refers to an instrument compartment and the fact that a, a maintenance personnel could be working on this equipment with this door open and if they have an arcing fault inside the gear, they are still protected. Eaton's new line of arc resistant low voltage switch gear may not be flashy, but that's the whole point of its performance driven design. Inside, outside, and topside, the Eaton line goes above and beyond the standard requirements for arc resistance to deliver an extra margin of safety and protection all around. On behalf of Gear TV, I'm Jill saying thanks for tuning in today and inviting you to bookmark the Eaton Online Product Channel, where electrical innovation is on the air.